okay hello friends in this video we are going to see net present value NPV in a shortcut is known as NPV net present value means if you are doing investment in one project how much net amount we can generate from this project okay for example here is the question Pitesh limited company is considering investing in a project requiring a capital outlay of 2 lakh how much investment 2 lakh forecast for annual income after depreciation but before tax okay pro annual income in profit after depreciation but before tax is given 1 lakh 1 lakh 80000 80000 40000 depreciation may be taken how much 20% on original cost and tax at 50% of net income you are required to evaluate the project according to NPV method and taking cost of capital is 10% cost of capital means NPV values okay 10% for this 10% the values we should have to check from table NPV table okay here is the table and now I'm making some zoom to get proper okay this is the net present value calculation of net present value okay let's start the solution question number seven first what we have to write okay we are calculating calculating in pv first write the year write the question first year second year third year fourth then fifth year now write the cash flow profit before tax but after depreciation okay profit before tax but after depreciation is given okay in NPV depreciation should not be less it should be add net present value okay so 1 lakh 1 lakh then it is 80,000 fifth year we are receiving 80,000 fourth year fifth year only 40,000 we are receiving okay now what we have to do we have to minus taxes okay that is 50 percent 50,000 okay reduce 50,000 here 40,000 50 percent means 80,000 50 percent 40,000 here also 40,000 here 20,000 okay after deducting what we will get because we have deduct tax means profit after tax and after depreciation we got how much 50,000 here also 50,000 here remaining 40,000 here also remaining 40,000 here also 20,000 only okay now add depreciation this should be minus but now add depreciation should be added okay so first we have to calculate the depreciation formula okay write the depreciation formula depreciation is equal to investment minus scrap divided by number of years number of years look investment is given it's 2 lakh investment Scrap is totally nil and number of years how many years of project five years so we are getting two lakh is then depreciation every year two lakh will be depreciation so now add depreciation 40,000 every year okay every year 40,000 okay now what we will get we will get cash flow after tax cash flow after 
tax okay add this one 40 plus 90 50 plus 40 90 this one also 90 this one 80,000 this one also 80,000 these two now these two 60,000 now what we have to do we have to multiply with present value okay present value of table how much 10 percent is given if it is not given also we have to take the 10 percent okay the following values from this table at 10 percent okay Here is a table. Let's see all the values of 10%. Here is, here is the present value table chart. You can download it from the internet also. Now let's zoom this chart and take the 5 years table value of 10%. Okay, from 10%. Okay, now let's zoom and see. Okay, now the table is zoomed. You can see the 10 percentage column okay it is also known as cost of capital in question so here we have to take five years from first year because in a question cash flow given for five years for first year in 10 percent 0 0.901 0 0.8564 0 0.7513 0 0.6830 0 0.6 0 0.6209 okay these are the five years table so let's write in now we saw the 10 percent value now write here 10 percent value 0 0.909 0 0.86 0 0.7513 0 0.68 Three zero zero point six two zero nine. Multiply this ninety thousand into point nine zero nine. We are getting okay. After calculating, we will get present value. Present value. Okay. Or we can also say net present value so 81,000 810 we got calculate the next one 90,000 into 0 0.8264 now the next one 80,000 into point five seven one three forty five okay uh, eighty thousand you know eighty thousand point oh by mistake I have written five extra here seven okay seven five this is seven five not five seven okay eighty thousand into Oh, 0.7513 so we got 60,104 now 80,000 into 0.6830 54,640 okay now 60,000 into 0 0.6209 we have 37,254 okay so now calculate the total overall okay calculate the total overall plus 81810 plus 74 three seven six plus sixty thousand one zero four 
plus 54 640 after adding all we are getting 3 lakh 8184 this is total okay NPV okay now write the formula of NPV and probability calculation of NPV is okay total present value minus investment okay total present value is 3,8184 we got minus investment how much we have 2 lakh investment means 1,8184 extra amount this much amount we will we can earn from this project let's write calculation calculation of probability index also probability means chances probability index okay total npv total present value divided by investment okay here what you can see 3 lakh 8184 divided by investment how much 2 lakh is the investment so overall answer after dividing this so we got 1.54 chances of 1.54092 this is the probability index probability chance of index okay this is how we can calculate the net present value okay we can also write cash flow or profit in place of profit we can also write earnings also e okay or we can also write c means cash flow before tax or after development or is earning before tax or profit before tax anything we can write as we comfortable here okay this is the way how we can calculate the net present value now next video we're going to see the irr internal rate of return